Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Alicon. And this decal set includes three decal sheets, one on foil and two on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the Alicon, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, the Alicon looks really good and very close to his 1986 appearance in Transformers the Movie. Taking a closer look at the figure, head sculpt looks great with lots of painted details. I like the light blue face with the red eyes and then you got the silver mouth plate with the purple accents over top. The spikes on the shoulders are really, really cool. Tons of molded detail on this guy. I think they really knocked it out of the park with him. Got some purple right there for the chest. Some purple down here for the crotch area. Let's see, flip this open. That's That whole thing's purple. Lots of molded details there on the legs. Some gray right there for the shins. This is a really cool looking figure. So there you go, guys. There is the Alicon in robot mode before. And after, this little dude gets tons of new decals thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, he gets new eye decals that I think look so much better than the original eyes. They're just more bright red and evil looking. Up here on the shoulders, he gets new silver decals. Down here on the lower shoulder, you get these little blue decals there. New decals here on the chest and right there on the purple section. You've got these little light blue decals. He also gets blue decals on either side of his helmet. Moving on down to the chest area, he gets these green foil decals here, new decals here on the lower chest, down here on the belt, he gets new decals here on either side, and a blue decal. You flip up this flap, there's a new decal right there. Moving on over to the arms, he gets these little tiny decals that go right along the elbow joint. Those were a challenge to put in. Also along the forearms, he gets these really cool foil purple decals. Moving on down the legs, nothing on the legs, but down here on the feet, got new silver decals right between the toes with a blue decal there in the middle and new silver decals that wrap all the way around the feet. So this guy, gets a surprising amount of decals and it really adds some personality to the robot. So there you go guys, the Alicon in robot mode after. In beast mode, straight out of the packaging, Alicon looks just as awesome as he did in robot mode. Though I may like this mode even more, this thing is awesome looking. Great paint applications here on the head. He's got red eyes, light blue nose with the purple crest right there along the top, off-white teeth, and a painted-in tongue, which really, really helps make this thing look so awesome. Rest of the figure is a lot of the paint application and plastic coloring that we did see before. On the back of the figure, he does have this really cool scaly tail now. So this is a really awesome looking figure, and I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So there you go, guys, the Alicon in beast mode before and after. And this here is what I am talking about. Look at the difference Toy Hacks makes for this Alicon's beast mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, absolutely love those new eyes. They look so evil. I just, I really dig the reptile or cat eye look. 
Now you do have the option. You could do the plain red eyes, but man, this is what you want to do. That looks fantastic. He also gets these decals on his teeth that makes them look a lot more gnarly. Now the decals just go along the side of the upper teeth, or the upper jaw rather, but they forget to put decals here on the front teeth. So I do wish they came with some front teeth decals, but still, that just looks sweet. That is something out of your nightmares. He gets a new decal right here along the ridge on his nose, new decal right there for the fin along the back, gets new decals on either side of these little spikes here. Down the back, purple decals, leading down to the tail, we get these little decals here on the tip and there on the side. Now there is a new decal right there for the chest area, this decal we saw earlier, and pretty much everything else we saw in robot mode for the legs. So there you go guys, the fantastic looking Alicon in beast mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for the Earthrise Alicon really adds a lot more personality to a figure that I already thought oozed it. I mean, I love all these extra decals that really make this figure pop. But for me, it is the beast mode and those reptile eye decals. Those add so much more to this figure and that is the way I'm going to display this guy. I usually always display all my figures in robot mode. This guy here, beast mode all the way. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!